Hey, performers, welcome back to Danny Robertson Music, where we're trying to help you become the performer that you're meant to be. That means getting up on stage, being in front of people, and putting on great performances. I get the occasional question about, you know, I don't know how to play my instrument and sing the song at the same time, or I don't know how to solo very well, or I don't understand music theory. I've just never played in a band before. Do I need to work on something to get good enough to play in a live band? And this question, these kinds of questions always kind of get me a little bit flabbergasted. And at the same time, I understand why they're happening. It's a, it's a confidence thing. I want to start this video by saying you are good enough to go and play live music. I don't care if you've barely picked up an instrument. Knowing things like music theory, how to solo, and knowing how to listen to other musicians and work with other musicians, all of that is stuff that you learn along the way. You just have to put it into practice. So let me give you an example of something that I struggled with when I first started playing in a band about 20 years ago. We used to play a Jackson 5 tune, uh, I Want You Back by the Jackson 5. There was a part of that song that at the time was a little bit difficult for me to play correctly every time. And it's, I'll show you if you can hear this. It's only coming through a microphone today. I didn't set this up to record the keyboard or anything. Basically, there was a lick that went. And you had to play that kind of at a reasonable tempo. So it was. And then it went on to. I want you back. While that song is not hard for me to play now, at the time, it was something that had to be, I had to get better at it in order to play it well, because my fingers weren't fast enough. And quite frankly, I hadn't been stretched that far at that point in time. But the truth was, is we went for the song anyway. And it was one of our most popular things to play for that band for quite a while because it's just a darn good song. If I had waited until the point where I was ready to play that, we never would have played it. The song was good. We gave it a try anyway, and it ended up being a good hit for us for a long time. If you have the desire to perform on stage, at any level, if you want to play big concerts and do festivals, or if you want to play in bars and clubs, or if you want to play at church or in a coffee shop, my best suggestion for you is to just put yourself out there, whether you think you're ready or not, because you're only, there are certain things that you're only going to learn once you are actually out doing it. You'll learn where you're making mistakes and where you can improve. And today I have two ways that I'm going to suggest to you to start putting yourself out there and performing live. Now, the first way is probably the scarier way to go, but it will get you up to speed a little bit quicker. Make a few phone calls and find yourself a gig to play in the next 30 to 60 days. Okay. What that does is it puts an end date on the calendar for you to be ready. That is how my old band got going is we did not wait for ourselves to have a full set list to be out gigging and doing shows. We booked shows and then got ourselves ramped up to the point where we could play those shows in time. Having a set calendar date will actually give you the motivation to get yourself up to speed where you need to be to perform a show live. Now that's the scary version. There's another way that I can suggest you get into performing live and it's a little bit more carefree, a little bit more forgiving, and it lets you try out playing with a band without the expectation of that band being perfect. And that is, 
go and play in a church band. That's how I got started. I got my first set of performances and built up my confidence through playing with a church band. I learned how to play with a group of other musicians, and I got up to speed where I could confidently be a part of that team. The great things about playing in a church band, uh, let's actually correct that. Let's say that we're talking about worship bands in general, not just church, but any, any religion. If there's a band at that place of worship, you can participate and Typically, those situations are a very forgiving environment with where if there are mistakes, it's still okay. It's the expectation is not as high. The bar is not as high to be super well executed music and you get to have fun with it a little bit more. You also are going into a very positive environment where everybody is there to worship together and have a good time celebrating God or whoever they are worshiping. And it makes for a fun, positive environment for you to participate and build up your confidence in your ability to play with a band. And quite frankly, you're almost guaranteed to get applause for every performance. <laughs> That's how I got started when I was a kid, and I still have very fond memories of that time. So as far as whether you think you are ready or not to play live shows, the only way to really find that out is to put yourself out there and go play a live show. You'll find out that there's probably going to be a few things that you make mistakes on. I still do that to this day, and that's okay. You are allowed to learn and grow as a musician and performer, even while you're playing live shows. Nobody expects a Mozart or a Beethoven to come out of the gate swinging. So there is that growth period. And honestly, as a musician, as a performer, you should continue to grow for your entire career playing. You should always strive to get better and better. You can do this. And I want you to get out there and play your first gig. So if you do, send me a message. Let me know that you got out there and did it, okay? Make those mistakes. Have some fun with it and get out there and perform live. That's it for this week. Have a great next gig, and we'll see you soon. Take care.